Hi guys, hope you are all well. So in today's lecture, I'm going to explain how can we use the switch or toggle on our CMS uh, while uh, uh, we are using the sorting filter uh, that is presented by the fin suite filters. So in fin suite filters, uh, basically my client needs that uh, when uh, he clicks this popular uh, the items uh, with the popular toggle on will be at the top of the list and the rest will be at the bottom of the list. So uh, he just want uh, a toggle at the back of CMS. So he uh, so uh, he will just on and off the toggle and the values will be updated in the list. Uh, let's see how that uh, how we can do uh, this type of sorting uh, using the FinSuite uh, filter system. So let's go to our product CMS. In product CMS, we uh, at the first step is that we have to create the switch. Uh, you can i already created it and you can create it from here this is a switch okay so uh, i created with the name of popular switch so now i will just get it on for some of my products so that uh, we can see the result that products with the toggle switch on will be at the top of uh, list when we click uh, on the popular filter so uh, let's see uh, two of my products have popular filter, uh, popular toggle on. One is starting with the P that is Petflix and other is starting with the Z that is Zflex. So let's see how these two items starting with the P and starting with the Z will be at the top of the list when I click on this popular filter. So uh, this can be done by adding just uh, two simple custom attributes. Uh, go to this field that is the popular add the custom attribute that is fs cm sort fold uh, and popular descending now remember here we can add ascending or descending uh, in my case like uh, i'm using uh, uh, what i'm using toggle so toggle have two basic values that is true and false that's why i use here descending value so that the true uh, values will be come at the top of the list okay and now uh, I just want to capture the data from that toggle so in order to capture the data you have to uh, you just uh, want to add uh, this uh, field this embedded code and this embedded code you can call uh, your values uh, from CMS by adding the field from here these are the dynamic fields and these values will be updated as per CMS values so in my case uh, the name of my value which I want to capture is popular switch so this is what now add it here now save and close so you can see it's true for only two values that is for p and that is for uh, z and false for the rest of one now apply the same uh, uh, custom attribute that to apply it, uh, in this drop down menu apply the same uh, custom attribute to this embedded code element here to this html code element so i applied the same filter that is fs cms sort filter and popular here you don't need and uh, you don't need to add any ascending or descending uh, uh, you just uh, add the name okay so this is done from our side now we'll publish and see the results So here we go to see the results. Okay, this is uh, this list which is already updated as compared uh, as per popular field is due to the condition visibility. If you know about the condition visibility, uh, then this is due to the condition visibility. Let's change the filter. Let's change it's from name. So from name that is descending order from Z to A. So Z is at the top, T is at the and so on let's uh, arrange it as name ascending order so b is at the first c is at the first and so on now come to our point that is popular which we uh, just applied in case of uh, in form of toggle so when i click on the popular you see that uh, the product starting with p and product starting with c for which i just switch on the toggle uh, will appear at the top of the list so this is the way we can use uh, our switch in our um, CMS FinSuite sorting system. Thank you.